Hello, Jamie here with a quick tutorial on how to set up library linking for your characters in Blender 2.5. Um, it's a very easy technique, it won't take me long to show you. Um, I'm just showing you because I couldn't actually find any documentation on how to do this um, on the net anywhere. So, on with it. Um, all you got to do is set up a group for your uh, rig and your mesh objects that go with it. So, in order to do that, make sure your rig is in um, object mode, and you can do that by control tab. Very easy. Shift select any mesh objects that are attached to it. I'll just move them around, make sure I haven't missed anything. Everything's good there. And then control G to create a group for everything that's selected. And then over here, you can change the name of the group, and I'll just change that to Han Solo Rig. Hit enter to save that. And he's set up to go. Um, it really is as simple as that. And then you just save it. And I will just open up this scene and show you just quickly how to link him in and about the editing stuff. That's pretty cool. So to link in a character to or an object or anything into a scene, um, you go here, File, and then Link or Control Alt O, as it says there, and just navigate to the blend file with your rig in it and you go into that just a single left click and then go to group and Han Solo rig and that group contains all the information for the Han Solo rig that I've got here um, and all you've got to do now is control alt P and click on rig and what that does is it sets the rig to a proxy so you can edit it whilst it still has um, whilst it's still being propagated from the other file. So I'll just go control tab into pose mode, make a quick pose with him. Move him down like that. So he looks silly, but that gets the point across. There's a pose now on that character. So we can go back to the hand solo file and he's back as he was in his default pose. If you want to make any edits to the mesh or the rig that can quite easily be done. Um, I'll just grab these verts, move them over there, and say uh, move this elbow all the way up there just to look silly. And then I'll save the file go back into the scene and as you can see those verts have moved and they're sitting out there and the bone that was controlling that has now all gone out there and it all looks completely out of whack but that just shows you that you can edit stuff and it all goes straight into the other files. Uh, I hope you found this very useful and I'll see you next time I do the tutorial.